What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris. So today I've got my haul from Sweet Tooth Scents. And I got this yesterday and it decided to take a little trip again. I don't know. There's something about Heather's wax that likes to travel. Um, anyway, but that's fine. No harm done. Package arrived just fine. I just think it sat in Texas for, I don't know, about three days, but it's all good because it's right here in my hands. So we're going to open the box and see what's inside. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, got the box open. <clears throat> and as usual, Heather packs everything just beautifully. Um, Heather is a fairly new vendor. Um, she's really started to pick up speed now, and <clears throat> she's growing. Um, and honestly, you guys, I love patronizing her, um, her shop because <sighs> she's just so conscientious, um, she strives to make everybody happy, and she's always um, asking for people's opinions, what they like, what they want to see. Um, you can join her Facebook group, and I'll link that in the description box below, um, because she puts polls out there and keeps you updated on what she's been doing and what her thoughts are going forward with her business and honest to God, she is just a sweetheart. I mean, I, I don't know what enough to say. I can't say enough. I'm so impressed with her customer service and her drive to make her passion grow and bloom into a profitable business for her. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I highly recommend her. Her wax is phenomenal. It throws. It's strong. So, <clears throat> check her out. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to link her Facebook group page, and I'll link her website as well. All right. First things first, airheads. Is that upside down? Yes, it is. My grandson loves these, and it's watermelon. Oh, my God. I just love watermelon. Watermelon's like one of my favorite flavors and I like it as a scent too. And that says a lot because, you know, I don't, I don't do fruit too much. Okay, here is her business card. Sweet Tooth Scents. It has all her um, social media on there. And that will be linked below. It says, you know, thank you for your support. Please do not leave warmers unattended. It's a good reminder. Um, I should heed that, but I leave my warmers on 24-7. Sometimes, you know, I'm, it's not like leaving a candle on, and I don't want to wait for them to warm up, and I have so many warmers, it would take me half an hour to shut them all off and turn them on every day. Okay, so we have a invoice. Which is nice. Everything you ordered. Prices as well. Her prices are extremely reasonable. Um, on here, she does put, like, on some of the things, the pour dates and uh, allow additional cure time on certain ones. Just tips for getting the best out of your wax. And like I said, again, <clears throat> our prices are very, very good. Um... completely reasonable. All right, so, ah, uh, as usual, she sends lots of samples, which is appreciated. It helps her out, and it helps us as customers out to see if it's something we might like and want to purchase in the future. But it helps her out saying, you know, this was great. What did you like? What didn't you like? So we're going to go through the samples first, and here's one I have been very curious about 
and that is called Marching the Queen. Um, she did tell me what the scent notes were in here, and now I can't remember. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I wish I could remember what she told me as far as the scent notes. This is beautiful. I smell like maybe like a <clears throat> a cashmere or a musk. Um, might be a little Palo Santo in here. There's a beautiful perf. It's a cross between a perfume and a cologne. This is incredible. And by the way, she will be having a pre-order. Um, she's got her list together right now, and it is posted on her on her um, Facebook group. It is, I believe, Mar uh, March, May, <clears throat> I think it's May 15th. I will put that on the screen when I edit this. I'll, I'll pop that in on the screen for you. Um, but this here, this Marching the Queen, oh, wow. And this is on her pre-order, and I will be ordering this. This is beautiful. I mean... I'm smelling a little bit of Palo Santo in here, and, and there's a musk, a, a cashmere musk scent, maybe a sandalwood. Oh, if I could locate the scent notes quickly enough, or maybe I'll uh, message her, I'll put that on the screen as well. This one here is phenomenal. If you like pretty feminine, um, with just a hint. And I mean a hint of masculine note, but it's not masculine scent. It's not cologne. It's powdery. It's soft. It's smooth. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. This next one, I have recently fell in love with her elderberry. And this one's elderberry cranberry. Cornbread. Oh, my God. Elderberry cornbread. The elderberry donut is straight up an elderberry donut. It's more like just a jelly donut. It's just, it's incredible. I, in fact, I bought more. I've got a little stash going. Elderberry cornbread. Oh. Wow, that is a true cornbread scent. We all know what cornbread tastes like. I hope you do or smells like because it tastes amazing. And that elderberry gives it like, it's like you took a piece of cornbread, cut it in half. It's still warm and mm, yummy. And you got some elderberry jam. I don't like calling it just elderberry. I'm going to say berry. And you just spread a thin layer on it and it just kind of like, soaks into that moist cornbread that's what this smells like it's so good that's good okay boho rose is the next one these remind me of what is it minecraft or it reminds me of a nintendo these shapes with the little cuts in them Boho Rose. Let's see, because I am typically not a rose um, lover. I find it to be a little harsh. I'm going to smell this unbiased. So that for those of you who do like rose, or maybe I'll like it. You, you, you never know. So I'm just putting that out there. Okay. This is not a scent for me. However, if I just take it based on the scent itself, this smells just like you've got fresh cut roses sitting in your kitchen or your dining room, wherever, bathroom, wherever you have, maybe want to put a bouquet of roses in a vase. And that's exactly what this smells like. 
It is very, very pretty. You know what? I'm not even going to say I'm not going to melt this. I'll probably put this in my bathroom. It's strong. It's clean. Like, clean, I mean, the, the note is clean. It's not muddled at all. This is pretty. It's a very, very pretty rose scent. It's authentic. It's not that... I don't like to use the word, <clears throat> you know, grandma's little soaps back in the 70s. It's it's not like that. This is like if you've got a fresh cut rose and you're putting it under your nose. So it is a beautiful rose. It's not that, you know, that soapy, muddled, just weird rose. This is pretty. This isn't like a perfumed rose. This is a actual flower and it is quite pretty like I said I've melted in my bathroom I'll see how I feel about it in the air I may get, I may pick up this again you never know I may I may fall in love with it but I can say it's beautifully done and I'm not surprised Heather does pay attention to what she pours she keeps her customers in mind she is particular with her scent with her scents her choices in oils and even where she's purchasing them from okay this next one oh these are pretty this one's called cherry lemonade I love cherry a lot of people don't like cherry I like cherry and that is very pretty um I want to say the cherry she normally buys. I thought she put a post on Facebook. It was being discontinued. So she bought what they had left. And shes I think she's going to be looking for another one. But she happened to like this cherry because it didn't smell medicinal. And I have smelled her cherry before and it is very nice. This is no exception. This is nice. Um, <clears throat> beautiful summer scent in your kitchen. Fresh lemonade. The cherry's there, but it's not overpowering. There's a nice balance here. And now a lot of times cherry and the lemonade, those can be competing scents because they're both very strong. She struck a good balance with this because I'm getting both the cherry and the lemonade. This is beautiful. If you gravitate towards this type of thing, the lemonade, you know, fresh squeezed lemonade and that... I don't want to say fruity because it's not fruity. That citrusy vibe with a little more sweetness added to it with the cherry. This is very nice. Very nice. Okay. So let's get on to what I purchased. I didn't buy a whole lot. Just, you know, which is what I kind of like about shopping with, um, with Heather and sweet tooth because sometimes as you know I mean when you go on a the website for pre-orders that other vendors offer sometimes there's so many cents and you end up buying just a million of them and you end up with all this wax and it's hard you know sometimes you know the struggles real right trying to get through our wax because we over purchase um, but I like you could buy more frequently from vendors who are doing smaller orders and <clears throat> keep your order um, manageable. Okay, so this one, there's a lot of talk about this one. So when her pre-order opened, I jumped all over this. And this is called Paolo Had a Little Jam. I love her labels. They're clear. They're, excuse me, they're, um, I don't want to say simplistic. I mean that in a good way. Um, just the whole overall aesthetic. The aesthetic it looks clean and refined. So Paolo had a little jam. And this is a soy wax melt. I wanted to point that out too. She does pour soy wax. I have not noticed a difference with performance when I've melted her soy. I think it performs just as well. Sometimes I found some sense performed maybe a little better. Um longevity wise they lasted a little longer and um 
so she is sticking to soy wax rather than the parasoy. Uh, this is a three ounce plant and it's Palo Santo and Raspberry Jam House Blend. Now, this clam here was $3.36, and that is for three ounces. So what's that? Dollar 36 divided by three, six, a dollar and 12 cents an ounce? Is that right? Terrible in math. What? And her clams are very, um, they're not flimsy at all. Like, as you can see, I'm kind of, you know, struggling to open it. If I didn't have nails, it wouldn't be such a struggle, but I'm trying to, you know, protect my nails. Um, but this is a good thing because there's no scent coming out of here. And I like that. Come on very thick. There we go. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. It's a sweet Palo Santo. Um, that's, you get the Palo Santo first and foremost. Most. And the raspberry jam is just there hanging out kind of waiting to be warmed. Yes, yeah, so this takes that Palo Santo. It's a little smoky. A little smoky woodsy. And uh, the, the the jam is giving it um, just a little hint of sweetness. This is very pretty. Very nice. I could see why so many people loved it. Okay. Again, this was another one of my favorites. Um, she had sent me, I believe I first experienced it through a sample. And then I purchased it, I believe. And then she changed, I think what I had was Parasoy. And she changed over to the soy. And I want to say she, one of her oils may have changed and she had sent me to test it and see if I would notice the difference and I thought it was fine and this is cardamom tea and grapefruit I really like this one oh there's a spiciness to it well, that's probably the card of them. I get a little bit of a white tea vibe from it. The grapefruit is nice. It gives it a little bit of an edge. A little brightness. I really like this one a lot. It's very, very pretty. Great for your bathroom, um, bedroom. Actually, you can melt this throughout your house. This would be just a nice um, uplifting scent in the home, too. That's pretty, very pretty. Okay. Pignoli cookies. Um, this was poured on 412. It's pine nuts, almond paste, and sugar cookie dough. I have tried this and it's very, very good. Oh yeah. There's that beautiful almond in here. And you could even smell the pine nuts. The pine nuts give it like a little bit of a fragrant note. It's, it's beautiful. And I love the sugar cookie in here. It's, I think it's the pine nuts give it almost like a, a fragrant, like a, I don't want to say perfume, but it's the only way I know. Aromatic type scent. It's not like bakery. It's just super, super pretty. Very almondy. Oh, that's just, that almond in there is beautiful, you guys. You, you, 
if you like almond, this is gorgeous. And I do, I feel like it's the pine nuts that are adding that fragrant feel to it. That more like a fragrance rather than a bakery. And the sugar cookie, yeah, it's sweet. This could almost be like a perfume. Oh, that's beautiful. So beautiful. Not what you would think when you hear cookies. This is a very pretty scent. Okay, then I got Cranberry Palo. This is Cranberry Rose and Palo Santo. I don't know what the difference is between this and Palo had a little jam. Oh, it's raspberry jam. Okay. And this is cranberry rose. Okay. Um, let me smell the bottom first. Okay, I am getting that rose scent here. But it's different because that Palo's there, so it's kind of um, cutting in a bit. Is that the right? Mm. This is pretty. It's. This leans more of a perfume type fragrance. The cranberry rose is, you've got that sweet bitterness of the rose, I mean of the cranberry, with a hint of a rose feel to it, but not quite rose. Then the Palo Santo, the woodsy, a little smoky. It leans more cranberry rose with a hint of Palo Santo. This is pretty, and I would probably do, this is a bedroom bathroom to, for me. That's pretty. Okay. I want to try this one. Steph from Steph Loves Life raves about this one. Iced lemon pound cake. This is lemon sugar, vanilla extract, rum, and tonka. Sounds amazing. Come on, you. Okay. Oh, I just want to keep smelling it. That's why I'm not. This is nice. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this reminds me of, um, oh God, that's beautiful. Again, it's, get like a, this kind of reminds me of a lemon bar. No, not a lemon bar. I think it's the pound cake I'm smelling here. This is, oh, this is incredible. Usually when you get lemon scents, like in bakery, it's always that lemon is always pushing forward. This is not, you're getting that creamy bakery that oh my god the lemon in here is just so perfect because it's like real it's like it's why I thought of lemon bar because it's that sweet yummy lemon that you get in a pie or a lemon bar or this is gorgeous it's not lemon forward it is the pound cake forward Oh my God, what else is in here? 
vanilla, okay, and the tonka, and rum. Is that what's giving it that unique scent? I can't explain it, you guys. It's When you hear the name lemon pound cake, your mind automatically shifts to a pound cake. You cut a slice, and you know, it's dense, and it's lemony. And it is, but there's something... Oh, wow. I think it's the rum. There's something just different. Almost like a... Oh, like at the crust on the, the, the outside of the pound cake was really browned. That's okay. I think this is on her pre-order as well. That will be coming home to me too. Okay, this one of my just very favorite knockout elderberry donut. Yeah, I bought another clam. I only bought one. I tried to save some for other people. I wasn't greedy. Um, this is elderberry, raspberry, butter, bakery, and vanilla. I'm telling you, if you ever had a powdered jelly donut, this is what it smells like. If somebody were to blindfold you and put this under your nose and say, here, have a donut, you'd smell it and you would probably take a bite because, oh my God, it's just, it's the best scent ever. I mean, ever. She had sent me this in a sample some time back and I melted it and I sat here at my desk going, oh my God. I was actually wanting to go and get a donut because it was so good, but I don't need a donut. So I didn't get a donut. This smells so good. I just, it's a white powder donut filled with that, like a wild berry jam inside. It's just, it's so good. It, yeah, I, you know what? This is for anybody. This is, I, know, I guess it depends on your soft scent preferences, but right here, this one here is a knockout for me. I, I can't get enough of that one. Whiskey spiced pear. And this is whiskey and honey spiced pear house blend. This was poured on, poured on 412. I will let these sit for a while. I believe in letting the wax cure. Um, today is the 24th, so it's only been, what, two weeks? Oh. That whiskey is smoky. It's a smoky whiskey. Super smoky. How unique is that? That whiskey smells like, um, I automatically smell like a, a smoker. You know, like say you were going to put some meat into a smoker. I don't know if you've ever done that. You, you know, you smoke meat and that whatever kind of, um, wood chips you put in it, that smoky, this is incredible. And that spiced pear is there. It's there. But you've got this beautiful smoky whiskey note. And then you've got this spiced pear just kind of behind it, caressing it a little bit. <sighs> Stephanie, have you smelled this one yet? Oh my God. That's really good. I mean, good. Whew. Okay. The next two I got here are the, um, what are these called? Snap bars. The snap bars are $2.13. And it is 1.9 ounces. And this one here is bourbon tobacco. Just, I do. I love her labels. I love the font she uses on all these. Um, and it is cedarwood, tobacco, and bourbon. I love tobacco scent. 
I just am drawn to it. It's another one of those scent notes. If I see it in a blend, I'm gonna buy it because I wanna I wanna try it. It usually just makes the scent so much better. Like the the the, the wax so much. It gives it depth, it gives it it gives it mystery and it's just it's great. Tobacco is a great scent. If you've never tried it, get yourself a small something that has tobacco in it. Really? So the bourbon is like a spicy bourbon. Um whereas the whiskey uh spice pear was smoky. This is spicy. And that tobacco in here is just that earthy sweetness. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, that bourbon's nice. Makes me almost want think I could like it if I drank it. I'm not a bourbon whiskey person. I mean, I like I drink Jackfire, but that's not real whiskey. Come on. You know, that's like candy. But, you know, Steph would tell you that. She's a she's a whiskey connoisseur, so to speak. And she likes it. She likes the flavors and the, you know, how they differ from how they're made and whatever. And, you know, I don't know much about it. I don't tend to drink bourbon or whiskey. I like, um, I like the crown apple and, um peach and I don't and like I said I love Jack Fire um but just general just whiskeys and bourbons and yeah it's not for me this is beautiful this smells so good it's spicy this is a spicy bourbon okay it definitely with that tobacco so you get this spicy spicy little sweet and then you get the, the, and the sweetness of the tobacco and a little bit of earthiness to it. This is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. You need to start making wax with vodka in it. What do you think? That'd be my choice. I don't think it smells too good because really not much smell in, in vodka, right? Okay, so the next one is Palo Santo and bourbon. That's going to be interesting, right? This is Palo Santo wood and aged bourbon. This is going to be nice. I could just tell. It's that same bourbon, spicy. So now instead of a sweet earthy from the tobacco, you're getting a smokier woodsy um, scent, uh, scent put onto that bourbon. That is incredible. Love this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Palo Santo wood and aged bourbon. And this one is cedar wood, tobacco, and bourbon. So I'm going to smell them side by side. Beautiful bourbon here. I, whatever oil this is, Heather, you got a good one. Oh, God. This is definitely more woody. That more of a woody note to it. And that's the Palo Santo. This is a little sweeter. Being the, the tobacco. But the bourbon. Spicy. That's pretty. That is so very, very pretty. Oh, God. Okay, you guys, once again, totally impressed. Um, <coughs> and like I said, I have melted a bit of, quite a bit of her wax and, excuse me, for the most part, and I only say that because I have some that I've already melted, it throws incredible, um, the scent is there. It's they're pretty and they're beautiful. Um, I have had a couple, but again, I'm going to talk about that in my warm warming videos that were 
Ugh, not quite there, but on the whole, her wax performs, it performs well. And it's strong, um, it's packed with scents, and yeah. I can't say enough good things about Sweet Tooth Scents, and um, she's growing. I see her business going places, and I'm very happy for her, and I'm happy to make continued purchases from Heather and Sweet Tooth Scents. All right, guys, so that's all I got. And um, I do have another package I'm waiting on to come. It's supposed to be here today. So I'm going to um, sign off of this one, wait for my mail, and record another video. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the time you take out of your days, your lives, your busy schedules, and you watch a video I've uploaded. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. I can't stress that enough. It really helps the channel grow and helps the algorithm so it gets seen by more people. And, uh, yeah, I, it's very much appreciated. So, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, whenever you happen to be watching. And I'll be back again real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.